everyone and welcome to Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. This is Caroline speaking here and thank you very much indeed for dropping by. And in this video we're going to show you how to create an avatar for your fan page in Facebook. In fact it's quite a, a lengthy process and we're trying to keep the videos to 10 minutes so we're going to do this in two parts, well actually three parts. And this is the first part. And up on the screen here you can see what we're aiming to end up with. And today we're going to create the background. We're going to create the um, inside curved rectangle and we're going to bring in an image and put on the web address. So that's what our aim is today in this tutorial. So let's get rid of that and start with our workspace. The first thing to do is to actually change our workspace to the exact size of the avatar that Facebook permits on a fan page. So let's go up to the fa file function, I beg your pardon, down to the document properties. And over here in the dialog box we want to go to custom size and put in there 200 pixels. Pixels is the default and the height is to be 500 pixels. Okay, now that's created the exact size we want. However, it is a little small to work in, so let's go over to the magnifying tool here, click on there, and then go back to the, the page and click on that workspace until it is the size that you want. If you click it once too many, here is the zoom out button up in the top left hand toolbar there. Now, quick tip. Once you've finished using the magnifying tool, click on another button. I tend to use the Select and Transform. If you don't do that and you merrily click on the workspace, your image will increase so large to such an extent that you actually won't be able to see it. Right, off we go with actually creating the rectangle now. So over to the rect Create Rectangle and Square button. Click on that and the action is to click and drag the mouse. And we're going to do that from the top left hand corner to the bottom right. Okay. Now it's good that this has happened. One of the great things about Inkscape is that it saves the last settings that you were using. I was obviously using something in brown and something with rounded corners on the rectangle. In fact we want 90 degree corners. So if this happens to you when you open up what you need to do is to go over to the second button, Edit Paths by Nodes, click on that and then grab hold of this little circle here by clicking and dragging up to the corner. Isn't that clever? There's lots more clever tools in this little software package, I can tell you. Right, so that's made that um, 90 degree rectangles. We want to change the colour, well I want to change the colour of mine, I don't want, want mine to be brown. And I'm going to go down to the colour palette here. This runs along the bottom of the page and you can scroll through all the various colours of the palette. But I'm just going to simply keep with that first navy blue. You have to select the image first of all. This is the select tool and you have to select that first and then apply the action. In, which, in this case a navy blue colour. We need to now draw a second rectangle, so back to the Create Rectangle and Squares. Click on that and create a second one. Click and drag. I'm going to change this colour to a paler blue. So if that's making you feel a little bit queasy, how about that one? No, that's more like it. I'm going to select it and I'm going to move it um, over the dark blue and I'm going to just resize that by grabbing hold of these handles clicking and dragging and the same up here and the same out to the right and left. Now we do want rounded corners on this rectangle so first of all select it just once and then over to the edit paths by nodes and then grab hold of this little circle here and drag it in until you get the degree of roundedness that you require. Okay, so now we've got our background, but we do I do want to put a, a, a gradient on this. So 
again make sure that it is selected and then go down to the gradient tool here create and edit gradients click on that and then um, click outside of that rectangle and just draw your cursor across it you can see how it sort of um, creates the gradient and if you click on either end let's take the square that'll lighten it and darken it that end I think we'll leave it like that for the moment okay so the next stage is to import an image and just make sure that you deselect the gradient there um, the next thing we do is importing the image and to do that the import button is this one here and you simply click on that and you have a good rootle around on your computer to find the image that you want now I'm going to pause the um, video for the moment whilst I do that I'm very glad that I did pause the video because I couldn't remember where I put that image anyway I clicked on the import button this uh, box popped up and if yours is toggled with embed that is exactly what you want so let's OK that now this image is quite large so I'm going to resize it and I'm going to do that by holding down the control key to size it proportionately and simply dragging it down it's, it's sort of the wrong shape as well but no matter it will do there we go if you, oops and then for a little bit more accuracy um, you can use the, the um, arrow keys on the keyboard okay I'm quite happy with that so over now to adding the uh, website text I've simply clicked on this button here the create and edit text objects clicked on the, the workspace here and I'm now going to type in the website which is www.sadies driedflowers.com okay that's correct I'm going to highlight select it and highlight it and then I want to apply a, a font style and to do that we go up to the view and select font family this dialog box pops up you can choose whatever style you want on there and I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose Vidana actually I think there we go and I want bold and I want to center it and then apply it I'm going to resize it afterwards because I want to see how it can fit in this space I'm going to press down control and then just grab hold of the handle and oops just play around with this until I've got it just so okay um, I think that looks pretty good now that's as far as we're going to go on this particular video we're, because we're already up to eight minutes but I do want to show you how to save this because you need to save it in such a format that you can open it again and then start to amend and add to it so the the steps to do the process is to go up to the file function click on that and then then um, press save then we want to name it um, what should we do part one Facebook avatar that sounds pretty good we want to leave it as the default which is the SVG format and then we click save and now that is saved in the SVG format which is the format which we can come back and amend so that's all we're going to cover for this video thank you very much for joining us here if you do have any questions about what you've just seen or you have any other feedback please do contact us you can do this using our page on Facebook the address of which is now on the screen 